when it comes to GFCI outlets, it's really important to understand and do it right. The line side of a GFCI is where the power comes in from your breaker panel to the GFCI. The load side is very different. The load side is where you connect wires that feed other outlets or receptacles downstream. Anything connected to the load side is protected by the GFCI. So if there's ever a ground fault like electricity going somewhere it shouldn't, the GFCI will shut off power to everything on the load side. While the line side is used to connect power coming into the GFCI, you can also connect other items to the line side if you don't want them to lose power if the GFCI trips. It's fairly common for a light or other things to be connected on the line side, and anything on the line side cannot be interrupted by the GFCI. Let's look at this animation. Here power is running through each of the receptacles and through the light that's connected to the line side. But now, let's trip the GFCI. Look at that. The current is no longer flowing to any of the loads connected to the receptacles, but it continues flowing to the light because it's connected on the line side. Actually, the light's not really connected to the GFCI. It's connected to the power that's coming to the GFCI from the panel. So there's no way for the GFCI to interrupt that side. In summary, you just need to remember that the line side is where you connect the wires that are bringing power to the GFCI, and the load side is where you connect loads that you want to be protected by the GFCI. And back to the line side. The line side will always be energized, and anything connected to the line side will always have power. It will not be protected. So that's it in a nutshell. I hope this video has been helpful to you. I hope you learned something. I really appreciate you watching. Have a great day. Thank you.